I often say that the wealth of God is yours to use. Well, what is the wealth of God? It consists of forests and plants and oils, minerals, coal, gold, silver, and other ores. But also other things are not diamonds and rubies and all the gems of the world part of God's lavish kingdom. But God's wealth is not confined to material objects alone. Are not birds and bees and all living things part of God's wealth? If that is so, then truly you're part of God's wealth. You're part of God's offspring. Would God withhold any of God's rich kingdom from you? How then are you to come into your heritage? Well, the answer comes from within yourself. You must make the claim. You must realize your divine right to God's riches. You must ask and receive. Now that sounds like it would be easy, but I have often seen people ask, but they can't receive. They believe that they're not good enough. They believe somewhere inside of themselves that they don't deserve it. Well, you do. And it is God's will for you to receive. To ask is to open your mind to God's riches. As ideas come to you, you nourish them instead of push them away. You give them the care that they deserve. As they go through their period of development, you watch them grow, and then, when sufficiently developed, you do whatever you need to do to bring them into manifestation. Just as the red apple that you eat today was first a delicate pink blossom last spring, so is every manifestation in God's world the result of some divine idea that has fulfilled its cycle. In Psalms 112, verse 3, it says, Wealth and riches are in God's house. Well, I pray that you're also in God's house. I pray that you realize today that you can ask and you can receive the wealth of God that is yours to use.